Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use a little bit of this gin, a little bit of this orange, and I'm going to make this, the Lucien Godet. But first, this. All right, so let's get into this. Now, this request comes to me from Trevor Rose, and he said, would love to see you do a Lucien Godin, a great twist on the classic martini. So I says to myself, self, let's get into it. Lucien Alphonse Paul Godin was born in 1886 and was a well-known French fencer. He competed in both the foil and EP events in the 1920, 24, and 28 Olympics, and he won gold or silver medals in every event that he entered. And he accumulated a total of four gold and two silver medals in total there. Now, Godin also won two international championship titles in 1905 and 1918 for the EP. And he won the European title in the EP as well in 1921. And of course, he won nine consecutive French titles for the foil between 1906 and 1914. And now that everybody's confused because, well, fencing is fencing, right? Wrong. Actually, there are three different types of fencing. We have saber, foil, and EP. Now the saber uses the heaviest of the swords and is very fast. Basically, figure out your opponent and then strike within seconds, i.e. get in there and go after it. And of course, you're targeting the entire body. You could target the foot, the knee, the chest, my forehead. Now the foil, of course, is the middle ground where you can set up your opponent and get after him almost simultaneously. And of course, we're targeting from here the waist up. Now, most fencers start with this style. This is mostly the introductory because it teaches you a little bit of defense and attack. Now, AP is the most defensive of these arts, and it requires you to stop your opponent's strike and counter immediately, sometimes even provoking your opponent to attack. And again, you're targeting the waist and up. Now, the French were so fond of their master swordsman that they named a cocktail after him. So let's see if it's as good as he was at fencing. So of course, the first thing I need is my shaking glass. Now, I don't have my proper mixing glass since I broke it. I've ordered it. It's on the way. It didn't show up when it was supposed to. I'm very sad about that. However, so the first thing we need, of course, is a London dry gin. Of course, I've got some beef eater here. And we need one and a half ounces or 45 milliliters. And of course, this wouldn't be uh, Lucien Godin if you didn't have a little bit of orange triple sec in here. Now, triple sec is an orange liqueur. It is clear in color. And we need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Now, some people, uh, the next thing we need is an Italian bitter. Some people will use Campari. Um, and that, which is what I'm going to use. They'll, other people will use other types of bitters depending on their flavor. I don't suggest using an Aperol because an Aperol will make this a sweeter drink. And of course, we need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. And last but not least, to round this drink out a little bit, we need a little bit of vermouth. And what we need is a dry vermouth. Now, I've got a martini dry vermouth here, and we'll use, again, three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. You could use a different vermouth. Now, this is all I can get at this time where I am. Because, well, you know, COVID-19 and all that crap, and not everything's being shipped out to the liquor stores like we'd like. We need to stir this, which is why I wish we had my proper mixing glass. But I'm gonna throw some ice in here. Oh, that's a bit big. And we're gonna stir. <laughs> we're gonna stir this for a good 20 to 30 seconds. All right. So what we need is a chilled glass. And I'm gonna put this into a chilled coupe. Okay. And so what you want to do is you just want to stray this, and I'm gonna use my uh, julep strainer here for this. And it's got a beautiful color to it. Now, a lot of the recipes I've seen for this 
don't have garnishes or they have an orange garnish or a lemon garnish, I think lemon would take away from this. So I'm gonna use an orange garnish here because it'll be fitting with the triple sec. And we'll just give this a nice little twist. Look at that. Very, very nice. The color is a very nice rosé color that you get from the Campari. I get a little bit of the orange, especially directly because it's directly underneath my nose. This is much closer to a Negroni in my opinion. This is much better than a Negroni too. I hate Negronis with a passion you wouldn't believe. They just don't work for me for some reason. And the difference with this, of course, is obviously the uh, triple sec and the orange look here that helps to sweeten that up a little bit. And the vermouth, of course, helps to round the rough edges a little bit. But this is pretty good, actually. Mm. You know what? It's worth trying. And you've got a bit of a bitter aftertaste at the end once you put it down. Ooh. The Campari draws out, so it's a, a longer finish on that Campari. And I'm terrible at describing things that I taste, but you know what? Everybody should try it. It's a nice classic cocktail. It's nice, it's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing. Definitely worth trying. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, Every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. But if you don't like gin, and you don't like fencing, hit the thumbs down button twice. And I'll see you next time. Now, when Lucien Alphonse Paul Godin was born in 1986, and was a well-known French fencer, a gold or silver medal in every event he answered. Entered.